Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. Today we will go through an update on Dr. Katcher's current experiment, where his team is treating rats with E5 every 90 days to see how long they will remain alive and if they can extend the lifespan. First disclaimer that in this video, we are sharing some recent news that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. We would like to thank NTZ Publishing for providing this information in their newsletter. If you would like to sign up to the newsletter, the link is in the description. Let's have a quick review of the trial. In the original experiment, animals were given a substance called E5. At the end of the experiment, the epigenetic age had been reversed by 54%, and the function of many of the animal's organs had become more youthful. This is a follow-on from that study, where the aim is to see how long the rats will remain alive if repeatedly treated with E5 every 90 days. Some key data points for the current trial. The animals are female sprayed dolly rats, divided into two groups, a control and a treatment group, with eight rats in each. The experiment started on February 2021, and at the time, the rats were 24 months old. As a note, there was a related experiment being run by Professor Rodolfo Goya, using the same kind of rats, but treating them with young blood plasma. That experiment has now ended. The young blood plasma did improve median lifespan, but not total lifespan. Here is the status update from December 2021. The treated rats have just received their fourth dose of E5. So far, none of the treated rats have died, though two of the control group have, both of natural causes. Looking at the age of the rats, they were 24 months old in February, so they are now about 34 months old. This is equivalent to about an 82-year-old person, and the average lifespan of a laboratory rat is about three years. The update also provided some key markers. Note that the zero month here is for 24 month old rats, which is equivalent to a 60 year old human. So they were already middle aged. The top two are TNF alpha and interleukin six, two markers of inflammation, which generally increase with age. We can see that especially after the second dose of E5, the treated rats in orange have a better profile than the untreated controls, and that this trend has continued. Another marker is grip strength, a proxy for physical health. We can see that the treated rats have improved their grip strength since the beginning of the experiment, while the controls have slightly decreased. The final graph shows body weight. In general, rats will gain weight as they get older. In this case, we can see that both groups have gained the same amount of weight, and this does not appear to be impacted by E5. Here are sample pictures of a rat from the control group and the treated group. We can see that the animal from the treated group looks in better condition with better coat quality. So that is looking very promising, and it will be interesting to see what happens in the next few months.